If you've been using Dodge and Burn for retouching, you know it's a crucial step for enhancing skin and texture without losing details. But the complexity and its time-consuming nature makes it difficult to apply. Retouch for me gave us a plugin to simplify this Dodge and Burn process. This Dodge and Burn plugin from Retouch for me has seen an update and it takes Dodge and Burn to a whole new level. What's up, Charlie? My name is Kwekwaye and this is Ghana Near Photography. Today, I've got an exciting update to share with you on one of my favorite retouching plugins, Retouch for me, Dodge and Burn. This plugin got a serious speed boost, making it faster and better than ever. For those of you who are new to Retouch for me, Dodge and Burn, it's an AI powered plugin designed to retouch skin automatically. It handles the heavy lifting of dodging and burning for you, making retouching quick, accurate, and non-destructive. I've done a couple of reviews for this same plugin and the old version, it's uh, quite impressive, but the developers have really stepped up their game in this new update. The three main things to look out for in this updated version, speed, accuracy, and the ability to work on black and white images. Let me quickly take you through this updated version. This image is straight from Capture One no edit done to it so far so if you see here it's the nef the nikon raw version and with this all i did was just um recover the the highlights because this image was close to perfect in camera so let's go back to photoshop in photoshop there are two ways you can use the retouch for me plugins either through the panel here or you can go through the filter option now, the panel makes it easy for you to access both um, the plugins on your device and then those in the cloud. There is a video on how to use the plugins in the cloud. I'll add a link in the description so you can check it out after watching this video. For this purpose, we'll focus on the plugin on our device. I'll go ahead and close this one and we'll use it from here. So we'll go to filter, retouch for me, and then dodge and burn and it opens up this um, window for us. Now, this window has seen a big, big update because the placement of the various icons, even the look and feel of the menus on there have changed. Also, the speed at which it opens and then calculates this is marvelous. Comparing this to the older plugin, now these things here have changed. The positioning of these icons and the whole feel, the look and feel of this thing has changed. And I think I love it. I'm loving this new look. Big ups, retouch for me. So here we have our icons just like in the, they do virtually the same thing, just like in the previous one, just that the look and feel is now better. So we have our brush in case we want to add more. If we want to erase from the mask that it has selected, we use this. Now let's go back to our image. Here we have the before and after before and after and as usual you can change the blend mode if it's too much for you you can decrease it if it's it's it defaults at 100 percent. so if 100 percent is not enough for you you can increase it now we can go here and then increase our image to 150 percent and look take note we haven't done healing yet so if you see these uh, blemishes here it's because we haven't done healing we are just focusing on dodge and burn so let's see before and after before and after. This is at 143. So we can go all the way here just to see what we get. This is before, this is after, before and after. And with this, even though we've gone to the highest, we still realize that what the image has still not been destroyed. Every aspect of the image is still available. And you can see here also that it has done some work on the background for us. So you see, this makes it easier so you see this plugin now works way faster than before and i must say i love this update so let's go back to 100 percent and with uh let's say 150 i'm okay with 150 so i'll just go ahead and select apply and here we are with our image so let's disable this before and after let me zoom in this at uh, 25 percent so let's take a closer look before and after. Let's look at it from here, before and after. Before and after. The updated Retouch for Me Dodge and Burn plugin is a must have if you're into any kind of retouching. The improved speed and accuracy 
make a noticeable difference in your workflow. From October 28th to November 1st, there will be a massive 30% discount when you purchase with the link in the description or using the promo code GANANIER20. As always, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out yourself. If you've already used it, let me know what you think of the new update in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this helpful and subscribe for more tips, reviews and tutorials. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching.